You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for another SpongeBob item. As promised, this is the SpongeBob movie SpongeBob Out of Water Pickle Tank Attack. 89 pieces for ages 5 plus. And you've got Plankton in a tank here. Looks like he's hitting a jar of mayo. You've got Patrick with a ketchup launcher, which looks like he's shooting out little caps at the tank. You can see the little splatters there. And SpongeBob's in the corner with his little bubble wand head. Let me turn it around here. So this goes along with the set we've already done, the post-apocalyptic set. And then there's actually two more, it looks like. So a total of four sets, maybe? We'll have to check that out. And there's some movement here and some action. And I get to build it for you. So I can't wait to do that. So I'll get it all in the box. And we'll take a look at the pieces and, you know, organize them and get started. Well, all right, so this is how it came. There's one, two, three, four, five bags. And then a nice instruction booklet. This one looks like it's all the Patrick pieces and plankton. And then here, let me dump some pieces out here. So we'll cut this open. We'll move this out of the way. We'll bring this in. I just got a nice white platter so I can move some pieces around and easily try to find them. All right. And then I'll put Patrick in his own little bowl back there. And then this looks like more tank pieces. And one more bag. This is the last bag. I'll isolate this in its own little bowl too. Not sure why. It's part tank and parts that I can start separating pieces because there's a mayo jar in here somewhere. All right, so this is all the pieces. Nice little assortment here. Let's just take a look at the booklet. So that's what we're ending up with. And then, oh, it's there on the cover too. So here's your parts breakdown. And then they have you assembling Patrick first. All right, let's bring him in here. That's something since it's all together. Here's his body. Head on. And he's got a little army hat. Look at that. That is hilarious. Look at him. Then this. Okay, then his legs, and arms, and then what it looks like is if you don't want Patrick to have his helmet, you can pop the helmet off, and there's a little tip to complete his head. All right, I think I'm going to leave his helmet on, so I'll pull that out. So that is set. There he is, and our little plankton. So our two figures are set. We'll have them set in the back so they can watch us here. Stand up there, plankton. We'll put Patrick's headpiece out of the way. And we'll just take a look now. Let's see. So the instructions are basically showing you what you're building. And then you're gathering these pieces. So I need one large piece and three of these bags. That is the first step. That is simple enough. Now in the past I've tried to organize things, but I think I'll just continue to try and build without stopping here. So it looks like a gray piece for the top or a white piece for the jar. Then this little turbine, and then a blue cap. Okay, so this goes in the blue cap. And this goes on this. That's the lid to the jar, and then the bottom to the jar, I mean the middle section, and then the bottom. So there is my mayo jar. Check that out. And that goes on the one peg here. There, that's done. And then it looks like two reds and two yellows. Two and one, two. So it goes red, yellow. Ooh, red, red. 
These are the caps, like the his little bullets. Remember they were launching? Was shooting out of his weaponry there. Okay, and now we're building his gun. I'm just gonna grab red pieces because those are what I think I'm gonna need. And there's three of these little reds. Lots of green for the tank. Okay, I don't know if I need that one, but I put it there anyway. So let's see. So uh, this into this. So this is going this way. Then this goes this way. They want this into here. And then one pin in here, in this one. Okay, that's the shoulder launcher. And then this on top. And then this in here. And then that sits on the open hole here. There. So there is our completed piece. And like I always say, if I miss something, I'll figure it out later or someone will help me. All right, so this is gonna take a little bit more time. So let me do this, let me get some steps set. Got a lot of greens to weed through here and I'll come back and then we'll start the tank. The first one, two, three, four, five steps. So what I see now is this one here. And then six of these all connecting to this. And it looks like if I just do this, I should be able to easily set this and this to this. The clicking sound. And then the end two look like they slightly over they overhang by one. And I'm looking ahead now to see this is the bottom piece here, overhang by one. And then one of these here to kind of complete it. This on top and this here. So now we've ended up with this section. And then another long one here. And a single. Okay, so now you know you've ended up with this section. And two more of these. This helps probably finish the track. All right, and then a single in here. Let's just make sure. A single. Then this. Then what looks like this one is going to go over here. Yep, that is correct. So now this is next. It looks like the front piece to the tank. And then a finishing piece. Okay. Oh, wait. No. Let's start that. Let's start that over. It looks like this first. Then a finished piece. Then what looks like a turret section. This goes to this. And this goes in here. Okay, so that spins. And then they want this here. Okay. And then it should be, nope, I did it all wrong again. I'm jumping the gun. This goes here. Then this. Okay. Then an angle cap piece. On the end. Nope, did it wrong again. This goes in the middle of this. There you go. Sorry, everybody. Not paying attention to what I'm doing. Okay. There you go. And this goes here. And this goes here. And now we have that. Okay. That spins. Okay, that looks good. I think we got it. Press everything in. And this is the turret section, so let me bring this in here. I'll try not to stop here. I'll grab pieces as I see them. One, 
and then two. Okay, that's that one, that's that one. And then a slight turn, and then one times on this. Now it's four times on the turns. Two, three, four. Okay, so now I see a big, let's see, so you're taking this like this. Okay, that's the top piece. Then this in the center and all the turns around it. Those are cool pieces, look at that. And then one more. Then they're showing this on top of this. Okay, and then two times on the turns again. Here's one, two, this one, and this one. So they're starting here with this. This in the middle, and then these two on the outside. Okay, so that's, ooh, that screechy sound. So that's what that looks like. And now this hinge piece. Oh, it's two little ones. And then this piece. So this looks like it's going to overhang here. And then in each corner here. Okay. That's what I see there. And now the second hinge piece. And then two times on these. So it looks like it's a step there, kind of. So one there. And this one goes this way here. There. I think that's what we have so far. And now we need one times of this, two of these, and then the top with the mustard stains. So they're showing this like this, that's the piece we just finished, and then two angles up here, looks like they're going here and here, and then this is a hinge, okay, and then the hatch, I'm not sure exactly how the hatch goes yet, let me figure out the hatch. All right, do, 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 do. so that first, and the hatch just goes over the top. It doesn't seem like it, uh... oh, it is supposed to go over that. Let's just see. I'm sure I just got to wiggle it. There we go. Okay, so that goes on top of that. Now what I'll do is I'll take a quick break here. Ooh, look at that. There's my turret, and I'll come back and finish up. Okay, so I am set now for the next step, and that is what well, looks like a little clip, and the gun, and this. So this looks like a cannon. This is my cannon, right? So it goes this way. There'll be two of these. And this goes up. Let me see which way. Is there a way that it's supposed to go? Hmm, I'll put it in like that. Okay, that's my launcher, it looks like. This here, and this here. Okay, and then this goes on to this. Ooh, so we're up to this point now. And now all the wheels, all right, so there's quite a few of those. So let's see. So it looks like it goes this way. Do, 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 do. That was the only way it can go. All right. And if you don't know, I love tanks. Tanks, I think, are one of the coolest things. I have a collection of small tanks, which have never made it to video. I don't know why. And then the treads. Cool, look at that. So 
Okay. Moving right along. Check it out. All right, so I got some pieces left. Doesn't look like I need them. But let's see this launcher, if it really launches. Whoa, that landed on the floor. All right, I'm all set. So I'm going to come back and I'll just show you everything. And I'm going to bring in the other set I did earlier so we could see it all together. Plus, i got to find the piece on the floor. I'll be right back. All right, so I brought in the other set from the previous video just to show you how cool that is. Now, I'm struggling with my plankton. This particular plankton with this set, he's supposed to be able to, you know, clip onto the top of the tank. But I think there's just something wrong with his base. This plankton from the other set works great. He will not stay on, so I'm just thinking uh, maybe something... Not really sure with the molding, because this can go here. And see, he could sit on top of his tank, so I'll have to use that plankton. And leave this plankton here. And look at... Look at Patrick, man. His eyes are like, whoa! So this goes in his hands. Now remember, there was two extra... Uh, an extra red and yellow. So I just put it on there, and then this is his launcher, see? Not that it really launches. It doesn't launch, but it's just for a pretend and play. All right, there you go. It's like, and he's supposed to shoot these at plankton, these little caps of mustard. You know, if you had a squirting mustard bottle, you can just... Ooh, sorry. Took off the whole tip. Okay. And then this shoots pretty pretty good. Let me put this back in his hand. Come on, Patrick. Work. I don't know if he's going to be able to stand with all that extra weight. Let's see if we can balance him with all this on there. I doubt it. What if we put it straight up? Backwards balance. No. Okay, now change the angle slightly. Nope, just too much weight on him. So we'll put his weapon back there. Leave his little mustard and ketchup blasts. Here's the mayo again. Remember the mayo? Do, 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 do. And then the tank, which is cool. And it does fire pretty good. Remember, I lost that. You're kind of holding it and shooting it. Ooh, oh, I lost it again. Well, let me go find it again. I'll be right back. All right, that thing really ricochets, so let me... Put it back in the right way. <laughs> All right, and then this time I put a blocker over there, so we'll see if I can hit Patrick. How's that? Wow, took out him and the guy back there. Of course, there's warnings in there about shooting that at people and eyes, so always follow those warnings. And this I probably just gotta set the right way, and it should stay on better, but. You know, the more you handle it with this launcher. Okay. And then Patrick's here. What are you doing, Plankton? What are you doing? We'll bring in Mr. Krabs. We'll just run over some guys here. Let's shoot at the donut. Let's see if we can get it through the donut, and whammo! Oh, knocked it over. See how much pressure that thing has? So cool. Remember now, this set, look, it knocked the donut off the top. Also had the launcher for the tires. So you put your tire here, and you just go do 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 Now in the video, I did it twice in a row, and made it in the donut. Ooh, hit the edge. So as you can see, it is a pretty cool set. I think it'd make a neat little display. I like my tank. Let's see. Let's have Plankton hit. Ooh, he fell off. Poor guy. There we go. And now you don't want to work, huh? There you go. Let's have him shoot Squidward in the back. Okay, Squidward is set. See him back there? Bye, Squidward. Bye, Squid. Right in the head. He got him. All right. Both cool sets. As you can see, every time you handle something, it falls off. Just That's just part of it, I guess. 
and let's get Sponge to save the day. SpongeBob comes in with his socket wrench and knocks Plankton off. And now it's a battle between the tank and SpongeBob, and they are battling. Oh, SpongeBob wins. What a cool set. Both are really cool sets. I think they're nicely done and fun to play with, of course. We won't get any more of these sets, but we do have one more item from the movie. So we'll show that on another day. And thanks for watching and supporting Lucky Penny Shop. Hope you enjoyed it. And let us know now if you're going to see the movie or you have seen it, because this video will be coming out on movie day. We want to hear your thoughts. And thanks for watching. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.